हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू कॉलिंग डॉट्स एंड आई एम कार्तिक राठौर सो वी हैव क्रिएटेड वन लॉग इन इन द लास्ट वीडियो आफ्टर लॉग इन इन वी आर कमिंग टू दिस फर्स्ट एक्टिविटी इफ यू हैव नॉट सीन एनी ऑफ प्रीवियस वीडियो ऑफ अवर्स यू कैन चेक अवर सी आर यू डी एप दिस प्ले लिस्ट सो इट इज़ वेरी बिगिनर्स फ्रेंडली प्ले प्ले लिस्ट फॉर एंड्रॉयड स्टूडियो सो इफ यू डोंट नो एनी थिंग वी स्टार्टेड फ्रॉम द वेरी बिगिनिंग ऑफ द एंड्रॉयड स्टूडियो यू कैन ऑल्सो अवर चेक अवर दिस सीरीज फॉर एंड्रॉयड स्टूडियो ओके सो लेट्स स्टार्ट टू डेज चैप्टर इट इज फैचिंग डेटा ओके सो वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग पार्ट एंड वेरी हार्ड पार्ट सम ऑफ देम टेल दिस इज वेरी हार्ड सो लेट्स सी इज इट हार्ड और नॉट सो वुड वी हैव टू डू टूडे we need to uh, create a model class okay this is our model class okay uh, what is this we will come to that later then we have to design one layout okay what is this layout uh, it would be like see if you uh, ever scroll to something like there is any con uh, contact list in your uh, phone so there is one is name and then uh, below name there is a uh, text of numbers in small letters okay so they have not designed all that uh, the full list of numbers they design only one layout of the number so uh, all the numbers that are available in your list they are just copy paste of that uh, layout okay view holder what it, it will do it will connect the layout and the model class okay so we will come to this later and uh, then we gonna fetch our data from the firebase at the last so we are just dividing this video into two parts okay so one is model part and layout design and uh, then view holder and fetching the data okay so it will not go very bigger uh, video okay so let's start to the today's lesson so see guys in the first activity i'm gonna do make it uh, white okay cool and after that what i'm gonna do uh, i'm just leaving it uh, like this only you can add a recycle view right now or we can do that later okay what is recycle view uh, i will explain you also in the next video so that would be better to let uh, edit later okay so let's create with model class okay so what you have to do to create a model class go to your package this name package name of your application right click go to new okay we are just creating a folder okay it's not a big thing so just go to this package and name it model okay it is totally fine okay just a folder and nothing not a big deal okay so right click on this now go to new and create a java class okay what we are going to name it uh, we are going to name it uh, i'm going to name it user model okay user model okay dot class i want so it will automatically take fine till here so what is this model class okay so if you will go to firebase uh, here it is okay this is our data is we uh, uploaded in the firebase already so there is one uh, there are some users okay so we are not gonna do anything to else we just gonna fetch the data of these users only okay so what how we gonna do that and let me show you so, so why we are creating this model class now so this model class will help us to get the data from here from the firebase okay so simply uh, we just need this text eject this test uh, text string here okay so what i'm doing i'm creating a string type variable okay and i'm pasting email here and what do we have we have phone here and name here okay so we are just doing copy paste from here okay if you find hard to copy from there you can just write the name eject like this only okay it, the name should be same okay so i'm just copying it from here and pasting it over here okay so next what we're gonna do see uh, from here you just need to click on write uh, click on generate 
and then you can create a constructor okay first we need to create an empty constructor so just select none then go ahead and create one uh, this one okay generate constructor again and now we need these variables okay so control and select these all and click on ok so now we have two constructors okay first constructor is empty second one is with our strings so we are going down and now what we gonna create is if you have read java uh, theoretically so you have must have uh, gone through about with getter and setter okay so if something is private to to get the values from uh, that we use this getter and setters okay so we are just creating these getters and setters okay so this is all our model class is done okay what i did i just right click clicked and i found here itself generate option and then i found getter and setter here okay and i just clicked on this and uh, this all thing is automatically created for me okay so we are done from our this part this model part okay i'm removing this okay so now we are going to layout of uh, our design okay so uh, what i want now uh we we just want to show the user information right now okay nothing else we will show his email his name and his phone number okay so what we can do we can just go to drawable uh no sorry we can just go to layout and right click here and create a new and fresh layout file okay okay now i'm gonna name it user layout okay you can give it any name you want okay from here what we have to do uh make the height wrap content okay so it will take only much height height that we want to give it okay you can use this card view as well i already copied here i can provide you the code and you can simply add is edit as well okay so uh, i don't have any layout right now because uh, so i'm removing this and uh, what about the app we can just alt enter uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. this is just a radius now we can simply add the radius from here also mm. okay 20 dp i can try okay so mm, let me give it some height let's see how it is looking okay so okay guys so what we have to do in this we are gonna create one more one more constraint layout okay and make it match parent this time for both okay so this is just a structure of our layout okay not um, not with including our email and anything this is just a simple structure we have one constraint layout in that if you want to add card view that is fine if you don't want to add a card view it is also fine okay then you can just uh, start the code from here only now when where i will start from okay so what we need we need one text view for sure okay so i'm just adding one text view and uh, the uh, which should be uh, proper this one our uh, under height is something 30 db okay and then i'm gonna constraint it okay so i'm just binding it to the parents from the left also from the right also uh, right to right actually right to right off parent and from the top also top to top off okay so now i can give margin to it margin is uh, 30 db from the top and uh, margin horizontal i want to give as 20 db right now uh, is it taking uh, here is our little text i guess okay just let me see where it is currently uh, if i will give height 50 okay this much uh, it is taking so what we can do margin bottom also we can do give 
but we have not connected it to bottom so let's first connect it with uh, bottom also so bottom to bottom of parent only okay now margin bottom will be something 30 dp so where is our text here only okay so you can write any text here for now i'm writing uh email it is it will be now so let's make it card thick enter at gmail.com that is not my mail okay and uh, the alignment of the text should come in the center okay so we need to make gravity center okay okay so you can see this is our mail and this is in the middle right now uh, i think we should remove this bottom i don't seeing any uh, good thing in it in it and margin bottom also sh we should remove okay this is fine okay now what we need to do we need to give it any id okay id could could be anything so i'm giving it as email only okay email one no email only okay so now just copy this text and uh, paste it two times okay now what we're gonna do first we gonna um, uh, after email we're gonna make it name is name and we also need one phone number okay so i'm not gonna focus much into layout uh, how it is looking okay we're gonna focus more into how we will fetch the data so i'm just not making the good design it could be very worst okay it could be very bad so name would be karthik and uh, this time i want it, it to be uh, 50 okay and uh, the text uh, size we can increase what is the text size we can make 20 dp okay and uh, uh, i think more margin we can give we can give 80 something okay and with uh, that we can also give it any color okay so color is black black is already there i guess so we can make it a little bit yellow okay this is fine okay so i know it is not looking good but please adjust you can see our corners is also and you can see this radius in the corner also no? that you used a uh, card view for and also we can uh, give this thing okay let me show you margin margin in the itself in the card view itself okay 20 dp so see how it is coming okay and uh, i want this constraint itself to come margin top as 20 okay so see now it is looking good okay so with karthik okay i have email i have my name and i just want my phone number right now now so we can give margin as 100 right now okay 120 okay fine so number should be here so it could be anything one two three four five six seven eight nine zero okay uh, what is the text color we know we have not mentioned here no so text color would be red for this okay i'm taking any color okay guys so this is the information you can see okay now at the last we can add a button also for updating the data editing the data but let's not do that right now okay right now our goal is to fetch the data okay so we have created this these two things right now we have created our module class we have created our layout file okay so just uh, don't take much stress right now just uh, take it into the parts okay just like this we have to create a module class that uh, is done and then a layout design according to that that is also done so, so in the next video we will create the view holder that will connect these both things okay and how it will connect we will uh, show in the activity part of that
of that uh, first uh, activity okay so after that in the last we will fetch the data from this model class okay so guys till now you have to wait wait for chapter 2 of this uh, video so uh, good luck with this and if you are new to this channel please do subscribe us please do support us uh, support us so we will get motivated to make more and more videos for you and uh, please support us by watching our videos by watching our uh, android studio playlist if you are new to that you will learn and uh, so many things are going to come we are going to start react native also okay so thank you so much for your time and uh, take care of yourself bye bye